know, go off of having me being birthed from the wall, man. At that third wall, the special place, man. How special is it? Is it? What does it mean to you? I mean, it's 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 the heart of the South Side, man. You know. You said the heart of Houston. Huh? You believe it's the heart of Houston or just the heart of the South? I believe it's the heart of Houston and the South Side, mm -hmm. man. You know, you can go to the South Side and some gonna trickle back to Third Ward. Whether it's you, your nightlife, whether it's you know your your recreational activities, whatever the case <laughs> is, you know, your, your, some good energy, some good people. Whether it's abroad, you fucking, it's gonna it's gonna lead back to the wall. You feel me? I feel that, I feel that, man. Shout out to the whole motherfucking Trey. Are you surprised about how they just redoing it and it ain't probably looking like how you, it would look when you came up? Well, hell no, nah. shit. I know they was gonna try to buy us out. Shit, they, they doing what they supposed to do. That's we gotta, I don't hate to do We gotta do and, you know, try to own some shit. Nah, for real, for shit, show Ownership is important. On the most serious note, man, uh, just speaking on George Floyd a little bit, I know you got a personal and uh, deeper connection than most people in the world outside of Houston, man. Just what was your whole take on that when you first just got the news? Oh, George, man, I, I kind of, uh, man, you know, same way how, you know, I kind of just leave it stuck every time, you know. Good dude, great, you know, great heart, mean well. You know, he was a real OG in my hood, you know. Everybody he, said it. He really, you know, did everything he could to try to, you know, make everybody stand for what's right, man. And, you know, whoever was on the bullshit, he never degraded them. He always, mm -hmm. you know, took them in, you know, made them understand it was love, but tried to show them, you know, we can go about the shit a little different, you know. And like I say, bro, I used to pull up at my studio session, I and mean, I still... You know, be at the stores and the hood, and people be like, "Well, that boy George Floyd believed in you and that Cal Wayne, man." Yeah, man. Shout out Cal Wayne too. That's yeah, great. Yeah, man. That's, That's big crazy, homie, man. That's crazy. How much of his influence, uh, as far as Cal Wayne, man, as far as the music, and just as far as just seeing another person, man, from the hood, man, make it in as far as his music. Oh man, shit, Wayne. He he was the one that that, that opened the door for us, man. Cal Wayne. That nigga music special to me for life. You know, nigga done cried and, you know, buried people and, you know, just got his music walked a nigga through life at one point before we was doing music. So he forever, you know, and a nigga fail. Yeah, shout out Cal Wayne, man. What's your top three things you gotta have when you're in the studio? Uh, some weed, some wood, and some water. Good guys, some good weed, wood. wood and water. Weed, wood, and water, man. Top three things, man. Influences the music. You said Big Mo. Anybody outside of Texas that influenced the sound? Oh, uh, man, I'm going to say Rick Ross, man. I mean, something about that big nigga that I learned that cup. <laughs> Why Rick Ross? Man, Ross just, he, he motivated hustling. He really, you know, if you really come from that, if you really, you know, want to go from them wood flows and them marble flows and just that upper echelon, you know, out the trenches though, you feel me? Nah, like, for real, for real. Like, like, bro, really move a nigga, man. Nah, for real, for real. Do you think uh, it's dangerous being an artist, being that it's like two or three, like dying, like every other month? Yeah, yeah. This the most dangerous job in America, baby. <laughs> you said the most dangerous job in America? In America. Over oh, five fighting and all that good shit. Why you say that? Expound on that a little bit. Um, man, because. At any given moment, man, your life can get took from you, you know, and I know that can, that happen anywhere, everywhere, but, you know, being a rapper, and I'm saying, I have to say, the average rapper, niggas be thinking they can just go off and, and speak their truth, man, the truth gets you killed being a rapper. You really gotta hold your tongue out there and play it smart, you know, just run down on them and, you know, keep it moving, you know, and act like you ain't got nothing to do with it, man. You can't really expose your hand out here these days, man. Nah, for real, so... So you saying art, artists, and rappers are targets? Yeah, yeah, you're a target regardless, man. Cause you know, with the success come, you know, the hate. But you know, when you get to a certain point, man, the hate get you know way bigger. So it's something you really can't avoid. You really just gotta protect your energy, protect your space, make sure you got some good people around you that's gonna help you oversee that shit before it hits you. Nah, that's real shit, man. Do you think that you have to clout chase now to uh, break in the industry, like do some dumb shit or something to be seen now? I mean, that's gonna always work for some people, but I'll never be the one that take that, you know, route. 
ain't, you know, doing doing real shit I always work for me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to, you know, promote that. You know, I ain't with them, you know, taking the fast way, trying to go viral, you know, doing some mm-hmm. sucker shit to win. Like, I feel that, I feel that. While you was gone, how, how long did you uh I don't wanna say stop doing music or how long was the hiatus before you was like, fuck it, I'm coming back out from the mash mode and uh, shit like that? Man, uh, I'm gonna say like I, I ain't never just stopped completely. Oh, I God. just I just stopped taking the shit serious and, and stopped putting my heart on it. You know, I just was, you know, still representing myself well at Stone and Bathroom in public and all that, but I wasn't waking up on no I'm rapping, I'm working. Shit, I'm about to run my bag down, take care of my little nigga, and you know, keep it moving. You feel me? When the rap shit, you know, get the call of me, you know, it'll, it'll make sense for me, but right now it ain't. So I was just going my move for a couple of years, and I knew I'd back door and you know, tap back in with the music soon, though. Know? Was, was the streets missing you? Because I remember like about three, two, three years ago, a long time uh, ago. I remember Peanut. Uh, I think it was Nutty. It was, he, it was nut, he yeah. He had made a big post and shouted at you out and or shit like that. Yeah, so like, like man, somebody tell the dumb mm-hmm. stuff, you know, the yeah. stuff you're missing. I'll never forget that. Yeah, so, that's man, crazy. Peace, my boy Nut, man. Like silent nigga used to call me for real. Time. I mean, like I, I still ride and be missing this, you know, name popping up on my phone because it was real genuine, man. It was real special to me, man. Man, that's crazy. How, how, how did you feel being that your influence had hit this side of town? I mean, shit. I'm still thankful, man, because I know, you know, the love I get on that note, man, it's, it's one of them, man, you will have to be a south side nigga that get love on the north side mm. and know how the shit feel, you feel me? I can't just, you know, explain it because it, it, it's real raw, man, coming, you know, to, to the whole, you know, opposite side of town, man, and it feel like the south side when I come out to mm-hmm. the north. Hey, that shit, that shit special to me, man. Nah, for real, for real. Any last minute shout outs? Anybody want to send some love to? Oh uh, man, shit, everybody holding me down. Everybody out there, you know, promoting me, got me in their speakers. Oh uh, shit, all my people that you know that were before me that passed away, man. All them good fellas out there that lost their life. I had the shark tank me, y'all niggas know I'm riding with y'all. I'm stepping for y'all, you know I'm ripping for y'all. Man, shit, rich regardless, man. Stone man, 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 man. y'all. Man, y'all tap in one more, man. What do you want the Stunner Bam, Bam legacy to be when it's all over? Man, they gonna say that nigga put a hundred thousand niggas on, boy. Mm-hmm. That nigga that did his thing while he was here, Jack. Yeah, that's all I'm here for, man. I wanna do my thing, man. You know, get out the way. Just have, have my way, you feel me? And turn some young niggas up. Turn some old motherfuckers up that probably ain't, ain't, ain't catch it early, but you know, got around the right motherfucker and now they got it now, man. Mm, that's all that matters, man. Play that IG, that YouTube, let them know where they can tap in with you real man, quick. Man, just type in Stunner Bam and all your outlets, man. Type in Stunner Bam, that shit gonna pop up. Shout out, shout out my team, man. My overhead, man, at E1, my assistant and manager, uh, Eden, uh, Mama Laura, uh, my publicist. Uh, man, they get my uh, Facebook and shit right, so y'all can type in Stunner Bam. I been okay. waiting on that shit for about 10 years, man. I ain't, I, what, with your Facebook? Yeah, my shit was under my original name, okay. my, my real name, and I've been trying to switch it over. But like I say, man, shout out to H-Time Pierre, though, man. We're going to bring this shit back and make it come back full circle. So it's it's not back yet? It ain't back home? What? The rap game, the music? Nah. He said, nah, man, I respect your honesty, man, because, you know, anybody else, man, hell yeah, man, we running this shit now. What do you think we we need or what we can do, what we can do to get back where we was once was? Uh, man, we gotta know that shit, everybody ain't the same. Yeah, you know, niggas ain't really gonna fuck with each other outside the music, but big facts. niggas can do the music and get this money. No, big facts, Thunder Bam on the back streets with Cole, man, I appreciate that. Ooh. Man, let me get a few pictures of you. Yeah.